and welcome to the Gamers Table Independent Edition. It is Friday, and we're reviewing Dogfight. This is a beautiful looking game. The cards, the pictures, all looks very nice. Dogfight Starship Edition is a hybrid of three combat game constructs. Tactical board game, movement terrain domination. Customizable card game, play with a starter deck from the core set or build your own. Combat miniatures game, in this fast-paced sci-fi combat game, each player captains a single spaceship. One card represents your ship with a... All its abilities and vital information described. Each player also has an action deck comprising all the other cards that will enable a ship and crew to perform. These are attack, move, intervene, and equip cards. Ships are constantly changing position on the board, so you'll have to learn how to keep up, track down, and anticipate the best moves. Hunt down your opponent to be the last ship in the sky. You have your deck of cards. Well, nicely done up, as you see in the component vision. And all everything is written down. Easy to read, for the most part. A lot of really nice pictures on here. A lot of wonderful spaceships and space scenes and that sort of thing. So it's a good looking game. You're going to enjoy reading the cards, looking at the cards as you play them. And, you know, some of your friends are going to really hate those cards as they see you slap down the Raging Inferno Blast and do an 8,000 million attack from somebody. Yeah, that was the one artist <clears throat> I, was, I found. It was particularly Michael Fox. Not Michael J. Fox, but Michael box of the movies or whatever i think i particularly like his style this guy actually made the whole thing so, oh, oh, so yeah. every uh ship good job has its own deck of cards which is kind of neat and the cards are very important mm -hmm. you're playing them to move you're playing them to fire your weapons you're playing them to equip different gear and equipment onto your ship your ship has base speed base attack and base range and mm -hmm. all, all as well as hull, which is your hit points. Mm -hmm. If you choose to play on the side that's just open space, it comes with uh, cards A, B, and C to set starting positions. You should try and set them sort of equidistant the way they are on the other side, sort of set in a triangle. So everybody's far enough away from each other so you can start. You can either do the one with the sun and the maps and everything in the middle, or you can do the one that's just wide open space. I and, think the planet ones would be better. Yeah, because, well, yeah, yes. When you, wanted, when you had the crap kicked out of you, you want to run and hide behind a planet for a <laughs> round yeah. and hope to get a card in your hand. I think it's a game, customizable card game, similar to Magic the Gathering and that ilk. So you're drawing so many cards into your hand. If you don't get the movement <coughs> cards, you're not moving. If you don't get the attack cards, you're not attacking. So yeah. sometimes you're doing a little bit of the running away trying to get through your deck and getting some more cards to go on the offensive again. Yeah. Because it's not a long game. No, especially if you're really... Like, most of these decks, the, the ships, don't have a lot of repair cards or anything in them. So you're, you're getting hit, and you're either running away or attacking, like you said. The one thing about the, these boards is it's not actually two-dimensional. It has some kind of three-dimensional rules to it where you can fly around the sun or or on top of the planets here and uh, instead of just going around it you can actually fly over top of them and there's different rules for line of sight and uh, distance for attacking you know depending on I guess the size of the planet or sun you're around. Um, these uh, are optional they came with the game but you don't have to use these and once you got more experience with the game you could probably do away with them but it's a nice little bit of a reminder for the people who are just starting out the game. You've got where your ship goes, your action deck, your discard pile, uh, your equipment, or your, uh, yeah, what do you call it? Yep. Your equipment pile, your spots up here, and your tiers. And now he's got them labeled uh, backwards right to left, so tier one, tier two, tier three. So I guess, like Chris well, mentioned once. your opponents. Yeah, when you're sitting on the other side of the table, you can see, okay, three left to right, that's the way he's playing, so you don't get confused. And I guess uh, this, this might just be for the expansion, the extra tiers. Or the cards that give but you generally, extra spots. Yeah, but generally you play with the three tiers, and each person's tier one starting with the uh, initiative player or whatever would go off, and then tier two and three. Yeah, it's kind of the robo rally. Like, uh, yeah. if you look at some of the action cards, in a, you got the name of the card, and here you got a small word. This one says set. That means it gets set in one of your tiers face down. Yeah. Um, 
There's one that discard. That's played out of your hand. Yeah, those are all played out of your hand. That's ones that say set have to be put down. <coughs> you got oh. one that says face up, which uh, very few of those. If that's the one the that gives one. you a second card into the into one of your tiers. Yeah. yeah. Usually you can only play one card per tier, but that one particular is two cards per tier. But that little word right there will really help you as far as figuring the game out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It gives you. There is you know some word trial that gets and played because of these confusing rules. You got move cards, you got attack cards, and intervene cards. There's definitely a little bit of over redundancy in the rules where they explain it and then they explain it again in a different way, and then it just. Sometimes you just need to keep it simple. And. I don't know if he did it so much. He, he just seemed to over explain, over redundancy, over and over. What we have here is the heavy ships edition of the one of the core sets. There are multiple sets. Um, neat thing, he gives this single sheet here. And there are the three decks. In case you've got your cards mixed up, it tells you each deck what card should be in it. The rule book, um, as I said, it's a little little less than perfectly organized but it has got a lot of really good artwork in it a lot of examples it just needs a little bit of fine tuning in terms of uh, the information you're given and how it's presented it comes with a bunch of winks that you'll use to put on your ship for energy counters and what have you that you they go on and you spend them to use some of the card abilities and a different color for keeping track of your tiers as you, you play them because in some tiers you can choose no I'm not going to play a card I'm gonna draw a card that time and when you go around the guy who's got Initiative focus or focus, whatever, whatever it, it is <laughs> priority that's priority yeah, yeah he plays his three cards or places things in his three tiers first then the next guy around places his and then on so they can sort of see if you just go picking up a card picking up a card picking up a card he's not fighting this round okay we're safe we can pick up cards on our own, or, or good time to blast him because yeah. he can't defend against us. <laughs> yeah. And now for the gaming news. Tired of boring old squares and rectangles? How about adding some cool hex-based mats to your next game? These invader mats are designed to help you build Dynamics hex map games. Each mat contains 13 one-inch hexes. These are new from the Game Crafter in their printed line. Wrapping up. For Dogfight, Starship Edition. I give Dogfight a 7. The theme is uh, space combat. That's pretty much what you do. Could the be race cards, car combat. It could be, but, mm. you know. <laughs> be more like... If the if race cars have that many guns on, that would be much more worth watching. Um, <laughs> easy to play. The rule book is a little difficult to get through. I mean, it's a lot of pages for a card game. So there are a lot of pretty color pictures all the way through it, but it's it gets a little bit difficult to figure out, and it's not the best organized in the world when you're trying to find something specific. You're flipping through pages back and forth. Where was that thing? I know I read it. I know I read it. And everybody else says, would you hurry up? And it's like, no, because I can kill you if I find this thing. Uh, fun to play. It's, it's combat against a couple other people on the board. If you're into that kind of thing, yeah, it's going to be fun to play for you. Overall, I didn't find it that bad. I like the idea of it. I like the theme and everything like that. But uh, just because of the rules and the unevenness of the decks, I don't think they were balanced very well. Uh, it's just a six. The artwork <coughs> in that is, is very nice, and uh, the pieces aren't too bad. But it's, well, the artwork on the cards are just terrific. The guys did a great job. They're not... A few artists, I don't remember all of the names, but Michael Fox particularly jumps out of me. I like his in particular. But I found, I read through the rule book, I really did not like it. I found it uh, confusing, especially the, uh, the movement with the uh, line of sight and type rules, the you know, range. That was particularly confusing. Uh, the rest of it wasn't too bad, but I think a lot of it you know, was a little redundant or things were misplaced and just not explained very well or like poorly organized. I will give it... A seven. Yeah, what were you saying? <laughs> oh, that's what I was hoping for. Okay. You yeah. guys would go on and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's it the for... The metagame is fun. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> metagame is yeah, fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for another episode of the What'd Gamer's Table. It? Independent Edition. You gave it a seven. Oh, okay. I didn't hear it. <laughs> Tune in next week where we review another game.
because <laughs> that's what we do. The <laughs> Medicare. <laughs> 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 Simeon, why did you have to take everyone from me? Ah!